Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I know, right? Christmas in July. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now, don't check your calendar, guys. It is July 23rd, and that is a Christmas tree up. Yes, I'm down in the basement cleaning up the girls' playroom. Um, even though they don't play down here a lot anymore. I am um, straightening up down here. I haven't been down here since the quote-unquote little flood we had, so I'm straightening up stuff. We had jam-packed everything on one side of the basement. But while it was kind of clean, I wanted to show you what I did down here. I transformed this room from a non-finished basement to a little party area. First year we did a Tinkerbell party, so all the decoration were geared toward it being like an a little cave for Tinkerbell and all her fairies and this past year this past December her birthday is in December uh, we did a birthday party down here for Mirabella that's her name across the wall That's Mirabelle on the other side of the wall. But we did a Nutcracker theme down here. It was all Nutcracker. We all dressed like Nutcrackers. The girls were fairies, the sugar plum fairies. So we had Nutcrackers everywhere. There's one Nutcracker, two Nutcrackers. Uh, these are those little tea lights I tell you guys I picked up from the Christmas tree shop. I love to put them in hurricane uh, lamps. They really sparkle and give a room a really, really pretty sparkle. Here's some sparkles that were left. I taped off one side of the room with these little shimmy, shimmy pinks. Some little satin uh, bows that I had on the back of my chairs. Yeah. But all this stuff I picked up on clearance, guys. This is leftover clearance from, I think, Valentine's Day. The little cherubs. Pay little or nothing for those. All these flowers I made from tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. These are actually left over from probably three years ago from that fairy party. And I decided to put flowers on the ceiling to cover because it's not a drop ceiling. So I covered up everything with flowers and, um, you know, draping. Tried to make it look like a sky. Painted all of that by hand, blue. A big huge pieces of cardboard and that background that you see is turf yeah that grass turf is from Home Depot they were in panels from the top to the bottom so I just made myself some walls because behind it it's not really a wall uh, that's a wall here that's like one of the studs but behind it is actually storage so we just made it look like a little, a cave almost. Here's some more Nutcrackers. Nutcracker lamp that I picked up from Christmas tree shops for, I think, about two bucks in the Christmas. Or actually, I think it was on clearance because I picked this up before Christmas ended. It was broke. And where it was broke, I just stuck a little bulb there. So I had one Nutcracker there. We had a candy bar. All this was filled with yummy candies. Little Hurricane, um... Vases came from Christmas tree shop or the Dollar Tree. All my little party favorite balls, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. These little bags came from Christmas tree shops. I think they were a dime a piece. I picked up a whole bunch of them so the kids were able to serve themselves with these little cute bags. Um... This was filled with all kinds of pixie sticks, the great big gigantic ones. Here's a big, huge lollipop left over. Here's a big, huge candy cane, candy canes. This was filled with all candy. And all of my little favorites came from Dollar Tree. No, no. Christmas tree shops. There is another nutcracker. And there's a brown nutcracker. Y'all know I love him. Cool. Ha, ha, ha. Um, we read the Nutcracker story, we watched the Nutcracker movie, we played Nutcracker games. Uh, my husband dressed as a big, huge Nutcracker. Got pictures of those, that was funny. More Nutcracker, so it was just 
went crazy nutcracker. Don't give me a theme. I will go crazy with a theme. So if you tell me you're having a theme party, trust me, I will have everything in its mother related to the theme. There's another one. And there's another one. Hey, I'm you. On, I'm on the phone. Oh, okay. But that was the table. I had the food set up on this table. And these pink chairs, guys, was my first dining room furniture. And I spray painted spray painted them pink. Yeah. It didn't rub off or anything. I don't know if this camera is picking up the color, but that's spray painted pink. If you can look really close, you can see. Yeah. Just took two cans of spray paint and painted them. So I used those down here in her little wonderland. This is a bench from out of my, uh, off my patio in the backyard. Strung some white lights around it. Tied a bow to hide the cord. Y'all know how I am about cords. I'm a stickler about cords. Just to hide the big cord. Yeah. And guys, these actually, uh, these urns used to be on my front porch. Picked those up probably, I don't even remember. We bought those like 12 years ago when we first moved here. But I took those off of the front porch and put um, tissue paper flour in them. Went in the backyard and picked twigs up from, um, you know, just bushes. Spray painted them gold. You can see, spray painted them gold. And then I just strung white lights throughout. Picked up these cute little butterflies. They either came from Ross. Most of them came from Ross Department Store. And made a beautiful, um, you know, flank this bench with two urns of my little homemade gold trees. Yeah. So that's that. Some more tissue paper flowers. And there is a little mushroom that I made for the first party when she did her Tinkerbell party. I made these from the bucket that she sells water ice out of. We have like a thousand bajillion of these buckets. I spray painted it brown. Then I went and I took the top of the bucket and covered it in some red felt. And then I just cut out some felt circles so it made it look like a little toadstool. Yeah, cute. And at the time, I think she was turning four, so we actually set the table up. I made about 13 to, 13 to 14 of these, and um, the kids ate on these. Really, really sturdy. They played musical chairs with those also. So, yeah. That's my cute little toadstool. What else? This table I bought you in a hall. I just kind of stuck it down here. It's that it's made uh, like a antique type table. Uh, this was on sale. I forget how much I paid for it. It was a little or nothing. I picked it up from Christmas tree shops. It was like an end of clearance, ninety percent off. Yeah, it might have been six, seven bucks. I think. There's another pink chair. And there's my little Munchie Chi, her little uh, project for school. Yeah. When she was a um, star student. And there she is. So over here we had her big table set up. I had a big long table here and had her, all of her kids sitting at the table with her. With chair covers uh, done in black satin and the hot pink. And this is where I store all of my Christmas stuff, guys, under here. You never know what you're going to find in this frugal Lista house. Here's all my Christmas decoration. I use it as a table, but it's all filled with Christmas decoration. It's a nice little place to hide the um, Christmas decoration. That hot pink on top, they are actually curtains. And the bottom is just a vinyl um, plastic tablecloth in a gingham. So I put a big picture of Mirabelle over here. Flanked it with a buffet, uh, buffet lamp. And then on this side I did the same. Another picture of her there. I think I had little flowers in that. I think I may have put up another. No, that was it over here. I did a flower and then just had the lamp. These little decorations came from the Christmas tree shops also. I think they were like a, seriously like a nickel a piece. Flank that with another uh, buffet lamp. 
And to cover the cinder block, I just used um, material that I found online because that's all block behind there, guys, and that's the turf. So just to hide the cinder block, found those butterflies from the Christmas tree shop. This banner was from her first party. That's when she was a little bitty girl. I think she was like four or five there when she was in preschool. So I just made a banner online and it has Mirabella's party, but the year that we've used it, <laughs> I think it was a princess party. So under here is the word princess. So I just made some um, tissue paper flowers that I'll do a tutorial for and covered up the word princess. So now it just says Mirabella's party. Yeah, so we ate on this side. We had two round tables here with four seating, another round table here, and then I had a long banquet table there. So all of her little girlfriends sat with her, and then the little boy sat on the to the left and to the right. Yeah. So again, there's no wall. I just, you know, hung them from the ceiling. That's the water heater over there. Just staple them. And where my staples were, I tried to hide as much as I could of the ceiling with the flowers. And over here, I used some real shimmy shimmy, that pink shimmy shimmy paper. Just had it flowing from there so you couldn't see on the other side. That's it. Um, I'll show you the other side when I get it organized. I'm getting ready to go upstairs. But I just kind of wanted to show you. I'll do a tutorial on a couple of things that I did. I love doing children's parties. Uh, it's kind of a passion, I guess. So, like I said, don't give me a theme. We had music, a strobe light, and they really had a good time dancing and having fun. All right. That's it. Yeah, the Christmas tree is going to stay up because I'm not taking it down. It's almost the end of August, so it's up. It'll be up. It'll be a year-round thing. And that Christmas tree actually came from the Christmas tree shop. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for it, guys. I don't think I even paid. It was originally, it was listed as broken. But let me show you what I did. I found one of these. Don't y'all look on this side because I'm cleaning up on this side. This is what I found. So if you do have a Christmas tree that you find or in a store that's listed as damaged. Uh, I found one of these little zappers. I came home, you put it into the little um, bulb, and it does something where, where it bypasses circuits and whatnot and makes the tree work. I zapped it twice, and now the tree works. So it was listed as damaged that it didn't work, which I really didn't care because I just wanted another tree down here, and I would put light on it, but use my little zapper, and the tree worked. So I think it is, I think this thing is called the Christmas tree zapper. I think that's what it's called. I picked it up from uh, Home Depot. But I'm really trying to remember how much I paid for that, guys. I can't remember. It was nothing, seriously. I, it might have been under 10 bucks, that Christmas tree over there. Yeah. All right. Some clothes I got to take upstairs to wash. Those are all of my first daughter's baby's clothes that got wet. And I didn't realize it, but I'm going to try to save them. They, they got damp. They weren't wet, wet, but yeah. So I'll put that back there and organize this area later. Yeah, here are all my Christmas tree guys. I put up about 10 trees in my house. Yep, that's right. Fugal Nista goes crazy at Christmas time. All right, guys. I'm about to go upstairs. Bye. So it's, it's clean down here, right? Yeah. Are we going to keep it clean down here? Yeah. Okay, are you going to come down here and play anymore? You don't play down here anymore like you used to. All right. I'm play, but I want to play with my pink card, but it needs batteries because it has a remote control. All right. We'll bring it upstairs and we'll put batteries in it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.